Hey, this is Gary at VIP Mazda. Today I'm here to show you the difference uh, between the 2017 and 2018 Mazda 6s. Uh, right here in front of us, we have a 2018 Signature Mazda 6, a brand new line for the 2018. We have some key differences that uh, we've never seen before in the Mazda 6, and I must admit, as a current Mazda 6 owner, I gotta say I am pretty jealous about this car. Beginning with, uh, we have brand new design on the wheels, and as well, uh, they've introduced a whole bunch of options on the Signature model, including uh, 360 camera view, top view monitor, uh, as well as front and rear parking sensors. If we move to the front, here they've reshaped the grille on the vehicle. And what they've done is uh, they've made the headlights a lot sleeker than the previous models, as well as just stretched everything out a little bit, making a wider wheelbase and also a lower center of gravity on the vehicle. If we move up here to the windshield underneath the wiper blades, uh, they've taken from the CX-5 and put a front wiper de-icer up there. So if you park outside on those cold mornings, uh, by putting the front defrost on it, will defrost so your wiper blade does not stick to the windshield and rip the white rubber off. If we move to the interior of the vehicle, on the signature version of it, they've added an ultra suede interior, some finer touches onto it. We've also added ventilated seats on this model, which is great. So those ventilated seats will definitely help cool you down. Also brand new uh, to, this, to the Mazda 6 as well, there's four different models. We have a GS, a GSL, GT, as well as the Signature Series, which this is. Um, the Signature Series and the GT Series have added a turbo, which has increased the horsepower as well as the torque. Uh, we're now at 250 horsepower and 310 pounds of torque uh, from the original 187 horsepower. Also on the GS and GSL versions, they have introduced cylinder deactivation, again, taking that from the CX-5. And what will happen in that situation is that when you're cruising on a flat road and uh, not accelerating, it's gonna shut down two of the four cylinders and that will help improve Mazda's already great fuel economy. Now the next step here for you, uh, as we always say at VIP Mazda, is come on down, you gotta drive one. Uh, take it out and the uh, best way to get a feel for the vehicle is drive it. You'll see how well Mazda's handled, how, how good they are reaction wise, and uh, how they've cut down on the noise vibration and uh, harshness of comparing to other rides out there.